Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video we're doing another episode of Sean clearly needs to clean his desk. Now we're doing an episode of Gold Sovereigns coin roll hunting. So I bought these in. I won't tell you what I paid. I paid slightly more than I would have liked. However, I did have a buyer lined up at a good good rate. What is on my desk? Awful. Should have cleaned this before I did the video. So yeah, before I get into it, if you do like my content, you can support me by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. I try and get back to all the comments. I'm not the most consistent. I am trying. So thank you for your support. So yeah, let's let's go through what came in. The only thing I'm hoping for, so I bought these, I've slightly overpaid. I knew I had a buyer lined up for 10 of them. It, it already indicated that he was happy with the price I had, so all I have to do is work backwards and to find a supplier to see if I can make a cut. That's what I did. I, I paid more than I would have wanted to. However, there's a day's wages in what I sold him. It involved a lot of phoning of people. I got a bit lucky with this. Now, what I was hoping, so I ended up buying 14 sovereigns. I also bought a collection as well. Um, I will show that over another two videos. It's worth the two videos, I promise you, it really is. This is a bit of a, comes from packaging. Fortunately, you can't recycle it either. So yeah, I, I'll put in another two videos. It's really, really, truly worth the wait. Um, some fantastic pieces have come in. And I, I don't, I think they're worthy of their own video. Now I know what's coming, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story. So I said to the gentleman, I was like, there's gonna be 14 coming in. However, you know the score by now. If any young heads come in, I'm keeping. They're, they're going in my reserve. If I have to ping them off, it gives me enough to, uh, I, I can ping them off. I can ping them off pretty easily and I can do it for a higher price. I've got buyers for young heads. I've got buyers for shields. I've got buyers probably as long as my arm for these coins and they will pay fair rates so I can just message one person and go down the black book of contacts so they were off to the table there was another coin that came in that I was super happy about so within the space of a morning I've worked out of the 14 coins I bought 10 were sold for a day's wages another was sold, forward sold which will be paid on Friday and I've now got three coins to either put in my reserve or to sell for a higher price so let's go through them So a 1901. So this one is going to a lovely customer of mine. Uh, she's a she's a nice girl. Ah, she's alright, I guess. Um, it was quite a fair selection. One thing that shocked me, and I'll tell you after the video, or towards the end of the video, where I've shown you the coins, is that there was a severe shortage of a certain type of monarch which really, really shocked me, and I, I will fill you in. So yeah, these are either sold or going in my reserve, or potentially for sale later. I might extract the further value out of them. I've got to do a, he a lot of heavy lifting over the next few months in terms of gold. I'm out of silver allowance, and I want to save the rest of my allowance for the e-magazine that I will be launching. I've had a lot of ideas. 1966, year of the World Cup. This this era tends to to be very nice in terms of the coins. I haven't slept, by the way. I uh, I was so worried about this order coming in. I was like, I got to about four in the morning. It, it's eleven, by the way, half eleven. I got to to four in the morning. I was like, ah, I'm in trouble here. I'm gonna have to do an all nighter. And got to about six. And I dozed off and I got woke up about half eight, nine o'clock by the postie. But my postie leaves stuff on the doorstep. And oh, it's okay. My postie leaves stuff on the doorstep and it it always worries me because it, it was not only these sovereigns but also the other stuff. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what we want. You can say, yeah, but Sean, it's it's not in fantastic condition. It's got a, you know, it's it's pretty worn. Doesn't matter. It's going in the reserve. There's your first coin. 
this is what shocked me. I can tell you now. So there was only one king in the whole 14 sovereigns. That's really strange because the kings make up the vast majority. Oh, there is a lot of kings in terms of what was minted. So I was really shocked at that. Especially this one. He He's minted a lot. Like I think some of the South African miniatures are 20, 20 to 30 million. They're, they're hugely minted coins. So 1900. That's a nice coin. Two thousand sixteen again, modern. Don't see many moderns myself. So my usual suppliers just don't really get them in. They tend to get the older coins in. Two thousand eleven. Ah, here we go. Eighteen seventy two, young head. This one's really worn. It's okay, you know. I'm not really too, too bothered. I'm just accumulating young heads because I know. I know it's getting harder to buy from dealers young heads so if i can get them in i think the trend is going to continue to be that way as time goes on and this one is is what interested me 2017 privy mark there may be 40 50 quid in this i haven't checked the current rate so i do need to confirm you know what i will look at that now because i'm curious to what it is just bear with me I just need to move some other coins. Right. I don't want to show you these coins. <laughs> They're for the next video. <laughs> they are going to be worth the wait. So 2017 uh, Privy Sovereign. As far as I'm aware, it's the only mass printed Sovereign there is. Well, there you go. Chards have got them. Our charts had them at three hundred and ninety-six pounds. So there you go. You know, that's there's maybe fifty quid in it for me. That's what I want. That's a good day's work. You know, and I, I haven't done anything anyone else can do. I've just had my wits about me, and I've gambled on some of the stock being good, and I've covered my downside by already selling the other sovereigns. So, good day, good day on this one. I think the finger marks actually on the coin. Yep, the finger marks are on the coin. That's okay. You know, it's it's not a problem. I'm not saying it will sell for three nine six. You know, sovereign. Let's have a look down the price list. Coin world. Let's just check eBay. Coins don't always go for what the market rate is. Sometimes you have to drop it down, but promise you for the price i paid i'm more than happy to drop it down because i've just paid okay i paid over what i'd usually pay privy sovereign i've I paid over what i usually pay however it's it's worth it's clearly worth more than than a, a usual sovereign so in terms of what they got on ebay so one at 385 you got one at 425 they're the listings let's see the completed listings it's probably more important 395 uh one got sold for plus postage so there you go you know it's 395 so two of them been sold for that so if i price this at say 375 plus post it's a very good day for me and anyone can do that you just have to get a bit lucky you know it's that's not any skill involved i wish it was it was just a case of i bought everything i could get my hands on it wasn't a lot like i, I wish there was more i've covered the downside like i said by having a buyer lined up and i've potentially maximized the upside because of the amount i bought in now they could have all been dogs and that's okay you know it's because you covered the downside but by covering that downside when you get coins like this you can extract the premium on them and you can do it in a way that is risk-free essentially you know what what would happen if someone doesn't want to pay 385 i'll just keep dropping it knowing that i can make 30 40 50 pound on a gold sovereign not many people do that some people can but not many people do i hope you've enjoyed the video the next 
couple of videos are going to be they're going to be quality videos um really excited to get the stock in i do hope you enjoyed it i hope the people who have bought from me enjoy their sovereigns and i hope you have a wonderful day so i'll probably upload a second video today and i'll upload the third video tomorrow really really excited about these take care guys bye